Everybody in the E Block today, Bruce Springsteen pled guilty today to charges he drank alcohol at New Jersey's Sandy Hook National Recreation Area despite knowing it was prohibited. During a virtual appearance before a New Jersey federal court, he said he had two small shots of tequila. Now, this plea came after federal prosecutors agreed to drop charges that Springsteen was operating a vehicle under the influence and driving recklessly, noting that the prohibition of alcoholic drinks at Sandy Hook was just two years old and noting that Springsteen's otherwise clean criminal record, the judge sentenced the boss to pay a $500 fee plus $40 in court fees. Former child actor Zachary Ty Bryan was sentenced to probation after pleading guilty to two felony counts yesterday. The former home improvement star entered a guilty plea for menacing and assault in the fourth degree of domestic violence. He was sentenced to 36 months of probation. He was charged in court in October after allegedly strangling a woman. Two weeks before his arrest, he announced on Instagram that he and his wife Carly, with whom he shares four children, had split. That account has since been deactivated. The Golden Globe Awards go live Sunday night, and we've got entertainment tonight's Kevin and Frazier to break down a few of the nominees. Hey, Kevin. Kirk, Hollywood's biggest party is going to look a little different this year, but the competition for Best Picture Drama is tough as always. What are you going to do? Oh, man, yeah. It was uh, the most fun I've ever had at work. Carrie Mulligan's revenge thriller, Promising Young Woman, is chasing gold, what hoping to best doing? the Globe's most nominated movie. Say it with us. Mank. 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 Gary Oldman's old Hollywood tale faces off against the semi-documentary Nomadland, the Anthony Hopkins drama The Father, and... We're going to Chicago to protest the Vietnam War. The trial of the Chicago 7, already a winner for star power. These are the best actors in the world. It's very intimidating for me to be next to them. Whoa, 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 whoa high five. Sasha Baron Cohen is a double nominee. His Borat sequel is up for best picture comedy slash musical. It's time to build a Competition there includes Kidman, Corden, Carey, and Streep in the prom, Sia's directorial debut, music, and the time looping Andy Samberg comedy, Palm Springs. But the one to beat is Lin-Manuel Miranda's Hamilton. He wanted to capture this moment in time, capture this incredible company. And make sure you tune into E.T. tonight for the latest on Tiger Woods' condition after his car wreck. Plus, Simon Cowell tells us about his pretty miraculous recovery after breaking his back in a bike accident. You don't want to miss it. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. And that is your Wednesday E-Block. George has a full look at your forecast. Look how pretty that is. That's next.